I'm John Rowland with Highland Park Lapidary, and I'm going to talk to you today about flat lapping. What everybody thinks about and wants when they're looking at flat lapping is how to get that super mirror-like finish on their flat pieces. This is a piece of Indonesian palm wood, and uh, you can see the polish is fantastic. It's like glass. And I'm going to talk a little bit about our process and um, and how we run our machines. This is our D1M lap, and it's a one meter flat lap. Uh, and basically, we do uh, let's see, one, two, four step process when we're lapping pieces, whether they're big pieces or small pieces. Um, and and uh, basically, I'll talk you through that process. The process starts with an 80 grit which is to get all the saw marks out of the pieces. And so what we'll do is, with the lap clean, we'll put our 80 grit in and place our pieces. Usually we start at around three in the afternoon and we'll run it all night. And then at about eight in the morning, we'll pull those pieces out and clean them. And uh, of course, any pieces that aren't uh, ground in enough, we would uh, set those back but uh, generally they're all done by then. So we'll clean the lap, load it with 280 grit, and we'll run that from about 8.39 in the morning till about 1 or 1.30 in the afternoon. Then we'll clean the lap again, we'll pull, pull the pieces out, clean them, and we'll put them on 600 grit, and they'll run on 600 grit for two to three or four hours. Uh, and then at, at the end of that, they're, they're ready to go over to the polish machine. Now, before I go to the polish machines, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, how we, because if we do small pieces, how we fasten the the weight, because we use just the steel weight to uh, fasten to the back of the piece. So we'll go over and I'll show you the hot melt. This is basically just a hot melt glue like you use in a glue gun. Now, of course, it gets some color in it from being uh, used over and over again because we just will peel it off and reuse it when we're when we're finishing a piece. Uh, we use a little acetone and and it allows us to peel the piece off the back without damaging it. So see the glue is right there. We'll put a blob of glue down, push the weight on it, and then when it cools off, it will uh, it will stick really well. And then when we're ready to remove it, we use like a, a little putty scraper and some acetone. Just squirt a little acetone on it, it just peels right off. We do all of our polishing on, on these flat laps in here. We've got 12 of them in here. Um, and our process is pretty simple. Uh, when we started out in the, uh, in, well, we typically start our course grind around three or four in the afternoon. So we'll load the machine with 80 grit. Um, and then we'll run our slices overnight and when we come in in the morning we'll pull those off we'll clean the lap and then we'll go to 280 grit and we'll run the 280 grit from about 8 30 in the morning until about one o'clock and at one o'clock we'll pull those pieces off clean them clean the lap we'll load it with 600 and we'll run 600 for two or three hours and then it gets pulled off and it's going to go over to polish and then that's when we load the next bat the next day on 80. so for the 80 grit we want to add one cup which is loads the lap enough uh 280 we run one third cup it doesn't require as much and 600 we run one half cup so that's the secret formula that will get you repeatable results every time doing slap so now we'll talk about the polish lap uh, typically, typically we'll run uh, two to one grinding to polish laps, uh, and on the polish laps we put a uh, a thin kind of like automotive carpet uh, on the lap. We we'll put it on with the contact cement, and then we use our our uh, special polish that we use that. Uh, is polished dry so when we start a piece here these have just started running uh, when we start a piece we're running it dry we're not running it wet and the advantage of that is that if you run it wet pieces will get if they start to dry out a little bit they'll, they'll get stuck 
And the dry polish works extremely well. You saw on the slab that I showed at the beginning of the video, the polish we run uh, at the end of the day, we'll start it and we'll run it overnight and then check it in the morning when we come in. Okay, on this lap, the other thing I wanted to uh, talk about is that this plate here, this is the main tray, it's attached to the spider with these brackets. Now this plate is a two-sided plate, so if you're on a budget and you don't want to buy two machines, then you can do all your grinding and then take the plate off, flip it over, and do your polish on the other side of the plate. We personally recommend that you get two laps because then you can set one for grind, one for polish, and you're not flipping the plate because the plate is fairly heavy. But uh, the other nice thing about it is if you're grinding, after a while, you'll, your plate will get some dish to it. And uh, then you can flip it over and you got a whole nother side to, to use and to wear out. So it's kind of flexible that way and it uh, gives you there's a lot of surface area. We've been running these uh, in production for several years now and still the plates are fine because we use a pretty good uh, steel on these plates.